Is that what you want? Sure. A lot of times I like to just shut up and listen to the music. I don't, I take a rather misanthropic view of, of performance. Um, I would prefer for them to, to you know, sit there and be quiet and respond to it honestly.
into that. Let's have another drink and let's talk about the blues. Blues is about dignity, it's about self-respect. And no matter what they take away from you, that's yours for keeps. I remember how it was, how every medium, TV and papers and radio and all those people were saying, you're on the scrappy, you're useless. I remember how easy it was to start believing that. I remember how you'd hear people take it for granted that it was true, just because someone with an ounce of power said so. And that's a problem now. Too many oddballs, too many pocketbook psychologists and would-be philosophers with an axe to grind. But there's a solution. It's not easy, but it's a matter of coming to terms in your heart with the situation you're in. A matter of choosing how things go for you and not having things forced upon you. There are plenty of forces against you, forcing you against your will, your ideals. You've got to hope for the best, and that's the best you can hope for. You've got to hope against hope. I remember something Sal Paradise said. The city intellectuals of the world are divorced from the folk body blood of the land that are just ruthless fools. So listen, when the smile, the condescending pat on the back comes and says, We're sorry, but you're nothing, you've got nothing for us, and we've got nothing for you. You say no, and say it loud. No! Remember, people who talk about revolution and class struggle. That we fail explicitly to everyday life without understanding what is subversive so about love and what is positive in the refusal of constraint. Such people have a corpse in their mouth.
woke up, it was really early, and I tried to get some rest again. He had just left about a half an hour ago, and I was all wet and warm and waiting for him. And then I had to go to work. So I was trying to go to sleep. I was lying there listening to the radio play. I started feeling real good and warm. Thinking real good thoughts. All of a sudden, I woke up and I had to come. And there was a kitty staring at me in the face. I said, Kitty, what are you doing? And she was pawing at me way down below. Little did I know, but I had to come in my sleep due to Ooh Kitty. 